journey of 100 miles, they say, begins with a step. Ghana's quest to end the 40 year winless drought in the African Cup of Nations has already started. The Black Stars are in Doha, in Qatar, where they are having a training camp preparing for the upcoming African Cup of Nations to be staged in Cameroon next month. Coach Milovan Rajavat has invited 30 players for this training camp, and one of these players is a sensational young man who is making waves in the Ghana Premier League. Currently, he's on top of the Ghana Premier League booking chart with eight goals. I mean, we are speaking to David Abagna Sandam, who plays for Real Tamale United. David. Hey, Sheikh. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, Karbeula. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you are finally playing for the Black Stars. I know it's a dream come true, but tell us how your football career started. Uh, well, I started uh, playing organized football in Tamale. That's just like 2012, where I first joined a Colts team. But before then, I had played school football, the normal primary and junior high football. I started the course team in Tamale, a team called Zaytuna Babies, where I registered with them at the course level. And it was from there that I, I, I actually started organized football. But I've played football since, uh, since infancy, but I never played with any organized team. You popped up on the scene when um, you played for Wow Stars in the Ghana Premier League. That was when a lot of Ghanaians got to know about you before you even moved to Ashgood, and then now you are playing for uh, Real Tamale United. Tell us about your journey so far in the Ghana Premier League, from Wow Stars to Ashgood to RT. I think uh, Wow Stars, uh, I joined Wow Stars immediately. I I uh, finished SHS. I was still, I, I could have still played in the Colts League uh, when I completed SHS. But uh, fortunately for me, I had that great opportunity to play with a premier side. Initially, I was scared. I had never played any competitive, like looking at the level of the Ghana Premier League, I had never played at that level. And I didn't even have a taste of, of first division or even second division so from the beginning it was very scary you played for wow stars moved to ashanti gold and now to rtu back again in the north tell us about your journey so far in the ghana premier league uh i think uh, i joined wow stars from uh, after i'd finished uh, shs I, I could have still played in the coast league but i was fortunate to get that big platform i was i was i was so much scared at the time because i hadn't tasted any first division or second division league before and having to play in the ultimate league in the in the nation it was scary but i was fortunate to have uh, people who helped me the likes of sadi kalas and the coach that we had back then coach eno sadipa he 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 just he had so much belief in me and gave me a, that big platform at that early stage and uh, I think the Wild Stars days was uh, it was amazing it was my first season having to go to play matches against Haas and Kotoko the names those big names you've heard on TV and 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 all that it was it was just an amazing feeling for me uh, moving from Wild Stars to Ashgood it was something that I'd always looked forward to I, since I joined the league, I had wanted. I want to grow. Looking from where, looking at where I came from, I wanted to progress from stage to stage. Maybe relatively, if you are comparing uh, Wow Stars back then to Ashgold, Ashgold relatively Ashgold is bigger. So that 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 opportunity to move to Ashgold was just a sign to me that I was growing. At least moving from there to a higher a higher team maybe perhaps i i didn't do so much like i i would have wanted to do with as good maybe winning a, a league title or fa cup mm. but 
I think moving to Ashgold was one thing that I had always looked forward to. And then now I'm, 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 I'm with. Before we talk about RTU, you, you won the league with Wow Stars. Yeah. You got to the FA Cup finals with Ashgold. Yeah. You know, as a young player who had just come out of senior high school, joining Wow Stars and winning the league, what does it mean for to your career? It, it, it meant almost, it meant everything to me. The league is the ultimate. The Premier League is our highest league. And just at that tender age, my first ever league, and then I'm getting that privilege to hold onto the trophy and have a medal of, of that, that uh, title. It was just an amazing feeling for me. I, I, I didn't see it coming. I, I, I hoped that at a point I win the, the league trophy, but not that early. Mm. Because I had just joined and, and we are winning the league. That was, that was just... You joined Ashgold and uh, your, your performance was consistent. The way you finished at Wow Stars, you joined Ashgold and still you were able to put up that amazing performance. You pushed the team to the FA Cup final, unfortunately. You lost to the biggest club in Ghana, mm -hmm. arguably, Accra uh, House Folk. How, how, how was that? You know, was it painful? Did you think that, well, we got into the final, it's okay, but... Uh, winning the FA Cup was, it was something, personally, it was, it, was, it was something that I wanted to achieve. At least I, I have won the, I've won the, Premier, the League. Premier League title. I've won Super Cup because uh, when we t when we won the the league with Wild Stars, we played uh, the Super Cup against Bechim. They had won FA Cup that year, and we won it. So I was now looking at okay. So far, one of the biggest trophy that I miss right now is the FA Cup, and uh, we're lucky that we had fought till the finals of it. It was just a day that we hoped that we could have won something at least that season for the team but unfortunately we just had a painful a painful uh, loss to 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 hearts of folk and it was really it was really sad looking at looking at the fact that we had a good game that particular day yeah. and then we had to lose on penalties. on penalties i think if they had scored us in in the normal time <laughs> that <laughs> that at least would have been a little relieving maybe they but we had a very good game, and uh, anyone would have expected that winning the, the FA Cup would have crowned it all, but it was just sad that we had to lose, lose that game. Now you move to Real Tama United, a side that played in the Division One League last season. Yeah. I know you have a relationship with Tamale because you are a student yeah. of UDS. Yeah. How were you combining your education at UDS and playing at Ashgold? Down south in Obuasi, up north, you were going to school. Uh, I'll say it's, it's a difficult thing to do. Uh, looking at the nature of football, you, you need so much rest, mostly after the tedious workouts and training session. But if you want to be a good student, you need to sit maybe uh, throughout the night and all that finished? yes it's, it's very difficult most of the people who who know me personally maybe from any team they know that i'm someone who who stays indoors so much i'm i'm not the type that likes to go out i'm not the type that uh, i'm basically my fun is being alone when when i'm alone i i have when i enjoy the comfort of being alone it's so much fun for me and those little periods of time just, it makes me able to have a glance at certain slides, certain uh, notes that, I yeah. should, uh, that I've missed. Mm. But uh, most of my friends do send me slides. Even when I miss most classes because most of the, the school learning period I'm away. So I have friends who take notes. Like your teachers, your lecturers understood. My lecturers you. understood. But... Uh, I think uh, UDS, uh, s there are so many times they have relaxed certain, uh, certain rules. At least when I miss certain uh, mid-term mid quizzes and all that, uh, sometimes they are reorganized for me. There are countless occasions where I came late and then the lecturer still 
organize some for me to to write i think that that's that's a great help that i i received from them but mostly i'm away from from class for a very long period i miss lectures and i the as good i i think our management also understood the importance of me going to school so what they did is if it's if it's getting closer to writing of me trying exams they give me space to go and maybe at least have two or three days to go through my slides and and then write those quizzes uh, and then i come back then i'm there when it's getting closer to exam then they give me a little break for me to go and prepare for the exam but overall it's a nice experience <laughs> sometimes there are certain things you get tensed up before games mm. and all that and then sometimes you just read you, you missed a class and then you just use that period to is that it. one of the major reasons why you decided to go to rtu since it is located in tamale so that you'll be closer to school and then uh, do a lot with your with your studies mm, a major reason uh maybe 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 I, i'm just in, i'm in my final year mm. i i want to graduate and i getting a team further away from tamale again the final year is always like a difficult year, a difficult year. so a lot of work a, to do, a lot of work, work to do easy, project and work and all these things so i believe uh that opportunity but one thing that actually attracted me to rtu wasn't just my education because i've combined it being far away from home so i didn't see it to be so much of a difficult thing if i have to still play file but the coach the, the coach the, the desire of the coach to have me in the team he's my sports director back at school he's coached at he's coached us at the school level he's he's like a father and you mean uh shai butanku yes after they qualified i think the, some of the first interviews that he granted he made it clear that he was bringing me into the club when i heard that it was it, it was a great feeling when someone has so much confidence in you so much that they they they, they don't even he, i'm sure he didn't even try to look at how difficult it will be getting me but he assured a lot of people in tamale that he was bringing me and the constant desire and chasing after me during the process of getting me formally from ashgold it just it was just uh, shocking to me and at a point i felt there was no better time for me to go there than 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 that period where so much love and so much confidence was being placed on me i think that was the major contributing factor that uh, pushed me to to sign him for talent talent actually you dash out huge sums of money to ask before they could entice you that that is one of the things that really surprised me looking at a team that just came into the league and the the negotiation processes and how much they were willing to give how much they were willing to to put out there to get me they just showed they just showed me that they they believed in me and they they thought that having me to in the team would would help and that was just amazing for me you've been an incredible figure for um, real tamale united as the captain uh, you've been an inspirational figure you've been scoring all the goals pushing them up there and that attracted a lot of eyeballs and interest and finally you had a call up into the senior national team the black stars yeah how did the news of the collab get to you and how did you take it initially uh there were all the rumors rumors in the uh, internet space about me getting called up and me not getting called up i think from that period i i i got a little frightened i didn't want to to have to see any article about it i just wanted to stay a little off <laughs> the internet <laughs> it was bringing some little pressure to me 
You got nervous? Yeah, I was very, very nervous. Uh, when, when those rumors started coming, the day of the announcement, I wasn't able to watch the announcement. I was just tensed. I was just tensed. I sat in the room, but I never put on my TV to, to watch it. I was just there, and then uh, after the announcement, I heard my friends screaming and all that. It was then that I realized that everything has actually been confirmed that I was, I was, I was, I was going to have that great privilege to play for the, to national, play team. For the national team. It's just, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Some, sometimes when I wake up, it, it still feels like it's a dream. Getting this opportunity, it's not you know of the junior levels. It's, it's the black stars. <laughs> it still feels like a dream. Huh? <laughs> now, 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 tell us, you are going to the African Cup of Nations, hopefully, uh, with the Black Stars, and that's going to be your first African Cup of Nations, your first Black Stars invitation, your first African Cup of Nations. The first time you got to our stars, you won the league, and it, are the Black Stars ending their 40 year troughless drought with you in the team? It appears that you are working with a bit of a luck you know is that luck going to be a touchdown i i believe uh looking at how how uh, serious everyone is in camp looking at uh, how the coaches are pushing everyone i think with the luck by god's grace if if this luck is attached to us i know sometimes uh the black stars is a, a difficult team to play for and so many people love it so much that every little error that comes out of it gets so much backlash. It's out of the love that people have for the, for the team that makes them, sometimes they are just little mistakes, but still people, people take it so high. It's out of love. Mm. We, we should understand that. They just want the team doing so well. I think we can go out there and make them so, so proud. I think going into this AFCON will just shock the Ghanaians with so much good results. They might not expect it. Mm. Because when they don't expect it, that's where the good, good things will come, come out of it. Who has been your most you know, exciting player in camp uh, since you joined the Black Stars? Mm. I think... Uh, the issue is that uh, Wakaso is like uh, a senior brother to me. For he's he's very cool. He 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 he's, he he tries to make everyone laughing. He when he comes to the dining table, he's always all about the jokes. He's always all about the teasing of other people about things they've done. Even sometimes he teases TM. I think he's, he's keeping camp lively. Whenever he's around, he, he, he finds ways of, of, of getting everyone laughing. I think so far, I would say Mubarak Wakasu. Apart from being alone, you said that um, you, know, you love being alone. Apart from being alone, studying your books and, 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 and other stuff, do you like watching movies? Yeah, yeah, I like local I like, movies. I like uh, local movies. It's personally, I don't have some looking at uh, some of the apps that we have that gives us that chance to watch uh, movies. I think there are no so much local movies on like Netflix. Mm -hmm. There are so there are no uh, so much local movies on. So sometimes it's difficult to get access to, to such movies. Like personally, I know maybe there are different ways you can get it, but the easiest for me would just be the Netflix and the local movies aren't so much on. We are getting to the final part of it, uh, and, and this is the funny part. I'm going to put two papers in my hands, one each. You pick one, the one you pick, whatever is on the paper. <laughs> You just watch straight into the camera and do <laughs> as it says exactly. So I have two papers here. You choose one. Okay, I'll go for the right. Okay, you go for the right one. Ah. Let's see what is there. <laughs> hey, who is your favorite musician in Ghana? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
I love so many musicians, but if if I have to pick one, I believe I'll pick Stoneboy. Sing one song of your favorite Ghanaian musician. Wow. Favorite. So one song of Stoneboy. <sighs> hmm. Can we redo really that? Can we, <laughs> you can really do it. You have to. <laughs> but uh, can I do repicking? Can I choose it? <laughs> okay, Stoneboy. Okay, uh, he's tomorrow. Okay, so just let's go. You go make a rehearsal. No? <laughs> <laughs> Just sing any line of it that you can sing. Okay. Hustling from Choco to Mampubi, from Ashaiman to Kotobabi, under the bend of the sun, still give Jaja the glory. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you enjoyed it from David Abagna Sandam. Keep uh, sticking and staying with us. We are bringing most of this exciting exclusive interview from the Black Stars base in Doha uh, with me, Sheikh Tafik Sienu, and we say thank you for watching and keep sticking and staying with us. We'll bring you more.